Hello everyone! In this video, we're going to demonstrate the Taylor series with our example f of x is equal to ln of x centered at 1. If our series is centered at 0, it is a Maclaurin series, which is also one of the videos here on the series of just solved it. So now let's proceed on answering this equation, I mean function. So we're going, we're going to find the f prime, f double prime, f triple prime, and f four prime of the ln of x because we're going to use it to properly show the first five terms of its Taylor series or just series basically. So let's, let's try this one. So first of all, um, f prime of 1 so what we're going to do so first let's find for the f prime of x which is equal to 1 over x. Therefore, if we're going to find for the f prime of 1, we're going to get 1 over 1 is equal to 1. f prime, double prime of x is equal to negative x raised to negative 2. Um, if we rewrite this, this is also equivalent to negative 1 over x squared. So, um, substituting the values, we will get negative 1. f triple prime of x is equal to negative 2 x raised to negative 3, which is basically 2 over x cubed. If we insert the value here, 1, we will get the value two f four prime of x is equal to two times negative three of x raised to four which is two times three is negative six over x raised to four if we change this to one we get the value of six so the values are one for the f prime of x negative one for the f double prime um, 2 for the f triple prime and 6 negative 6 for the f 4 prime so I hope we remember those values so substitute substituting the values we will get the ln of x is equal to so f of 1 is 1 first let's I think let's show first, you know, the form. So 1, x, minus 1, 1. So if you watch the Maclaurin series, I think you'll get the format of the series, okay? So here, I'm going to change the center already into 1. So that's the values of 1 that you're seeing here inside the parentheses. They are the, cent they are the center of the function. So minus six times x is to one four over four prime plus so you see here so f of one so ln of one is what value? Let's make sure using the calculator what is the ln of 1? It's 0. Next one. Here. We're also going to cancel this basically. So here, 1 times x minus 1, 1. So the 1 value here is the. Um, The values that we've get earlier, right? Do you remember? The f prime of x 
or the f prime of x f prime of 1 is also 1 minus negative 1 over x squared negative 1 2 then negative 6 those are the values you see right there beside the parenthesis so rewriting this one we'll be arriving to this series x minus 1 prime over 1 minus x minus 1 squared over 2 plus x minus 1 cube over 3 minus x minus 1 6 over 4 So, what do you think you could notice? Okay, so we have the constants here. Beside here, we have the 1, negative 1, 2, and what? We have the negative 6. So, previously, these were um, factorials, right? So, this was reduced to a non factorial number because 1 divided by 1 factorial is basically 1. So the next term, we have this negative 1, 2. 1 times 2 is basically 2. So 2 factorial is equal to 2. Still the same. 3 factorial, on the other hand, is 6. But we have 2 here. So 2 over 6. Um, sixth. So we have 2 here. Then we have 6 below, right? So simplifying 2 over 6 is what? 1 third. So that's where the 3 came from. Then 4, we have negative 6 here above. So 4 prime is 4 times 3, 12 times 2, 24. 6 over 24 is basically 1 over what? 1 over 4. So again, the factorial is gone. So this is, a, this is the series. We're going to get the closed form. Summation of... Um, so from n is equal to 0 towards infinity, we see that it keeps on ascending, the value is ascending, and having a step by 1. If we are starting at the n is equal to 0, we have the 1 here. So therefore, n plus 1. Then, negative 1 n, x minus x minus 1, n plus 1, because they have the same value, so we could express them the same. x minus 1 is a constant across the, all terms, but the sign changes, so that's the purpose of this. If this, if the exponent is even, therefore the negative sign will be gone. If the exponent is odd, the negative sign will appear. Therefore, we have an alternating sign across the different terms of the series. So there you have it. This is the Taylor series of the f of x is equal to ln of x centered at 1. And at this point, we've just solved it.